MK and I am here with the last video for Use the Stuff and I am using a sketch from Christie's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches, Series 12. This is the sketch that I will be using and it is created by Miss Carrie Creations um, or Creates. Miss Carrie Creates or Creations? Oh my god, I'm going to have to work that up. Um, actually, I think it's right there on the sketch and it says Miss Carrie's uh, creations. So I was right the first time. Sorry about that. So um, I am actually going to turn this sketch. Now I did have a little note from June that this was supposed to be um, a mixed media hop because it matched the inspiration layout very well for mixed media um, with it being um, the, the complete opposite. So where Carrie has um, all of her elements over on the right, the inspiration sketch was on the left. And then where she has this beautiful title and whatnot was gorgeous uh, mixed media and embellishments and all that stuff. So um, I'm actually going to turn mine to where um, it all of the elements are down or the photos are down at the bottom because that's the way that my photos go. And then instead of having a subtitle and a title, I'm going to have a third photo. So I'm just showing you guys um, my tray of goodness when I went through all of my water embellishments and um, papers and things like that. Uh, I had already pulled out all of these elements for June and that is kind of what made me think that I really need to de-stash because it took me forever to pull all these elements together. And then of course, instead of doing an actual mixed media, I chose a background that was already created. Now that is one of the simplest, easiest ways to have that mixed media look without the mess, the product, or anything for those that just really love the look but don't like mixed media. Um, there are several of these types of papers out there. Vicki Booten has, I think, three or four paper pads of nothing but her uh, mixed media on a layout, and then you just get to add to it. And I mean, fabulous work, you guys. Absolutely fabulous. There are paper pads I've seen from Recollections, the Hobby Lobby brand, the... Um, um, <laughs> the other store, Joanne, I mean, all of those have pads with this mixed media type of layout. Now, this happens to be an Asuka paper um, that I picked up, I believe hmm, it could have been a cherry on top or it could have been scrapbook.com. Those are my two go-to big box, um, well, they're not even box, uh, but big online stores where I shop. And Normally, I just put in a keyword of something that I'm looking for, and that's how I find all of this unique stuff, you guys. If I'm looking for wood grain, I will type in the word wood grain. Now, for wood grain, I don't know. Sometimes it's all one word, and sometimes it's two separate words, um, but I try both, and I go through everything, um, you know, that they that the store has to offer. So, um, anyways, that's how I come up with all of these unique, weird uh papers and stuff that pe some people have never even heard of is I just I just go shopping for the unique and that is just me um, because I'm really not an American Crafts uh, fan. I don't really like their style and so I have to think outside of the box and look outside the box. So that's where Minte and 49 and Market, um, Asuka, all of those um, wonderful companies. I really love Penelope D, but to get that here in the States, I mean, really like we have a lot to complain about in the States, but still. Okay. Can I talk about the, the layout now? It's okay. We can talk more about, you know, products and, and, and all the shipping issues and, and what, who can get what uh, later, later. Um, but um, right now I am pulling out the oldest tool in my arsenal, like for real. Now the Cricut could also be the oldest tool um, because I've had that since 2009 and this clearly did not come out in 2009. But seriously, um, who all owns a punch board? Who all uses a punch board? I don't. <laughs> I used, I bought one. Um, I bought this one. I don't make cards at all. Uh, I bought this one because my girlfriend is a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and um, she was sharing a bunch of super cool projects that you could do other than an envelope with this punch tool. So of course I bought it and uh, the only thing that I really love doing with it is making these tabs. Um, I, it's a really fast, simple way to make tabs, uh, but of course I'm out of practice, so I can't remember, <laughs> you know, how do I trim off those little edges and whatnot. Um, so it's kind of a learning curve for me all over again, but I, in the long run, I figure it out. And 
what I do is I make all different size. So I made one that was two inch, one that was half inch, and one that was like an inch and a quarter somewhere in there. Um, so super fun and um, easy to do, simple, easy to do. And your tab can be on a strip of scrap paper like what I have here, or it can be on uh, you know, an entire piece of paper that uh, you just cut off the, the top and then you can use it for organizing and whatnot as well. Of course, it has to be paper because the punch does not punch through anything thicker, but um, still the idea is there, right? Also too, um, I have another punch board that is like a cute little bag that you can create. And I got those uh, for when my daughter was still in um, elementary school. And my actually, I got it when my sons were in elementary school. And I used to make little treat bags and, and decorate the tops of them because you can um, punch, you know, use your border punches for the tops and stuff. I used to be really crafty, you guys, and, and come up with all these cutesy little things that the teachers really loved. And I don't do that anymore because middle school and high school, blah, right? Nobody likes that stuff anymore. Um, <laughs> so anywho, uh, but I still have the tools. I still think that one of these days, you know, maybe my grandkids will want to use it. But uh, even my little girl said, I don't think I want kids, mom. <gasps> what? Okay, well, we'll pass that bridge when we get there. You're only 11. It'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, why are we having this talk conversation? Um, but it was, it's things that we talk about in our car rides, right? So now that I've got the bare bones of Carrie's uh, sketch going on in my, um, you know, on my layout, I figured that this type of mixed media being centraled the way that it was, was absolutely perfect for this type of design because I did not feel guilty at all in covering up the bottom half of this piece of paper. Um, could I have cut it in half and got out another piece of paper and glued all the pieces together and saved that other half for later? Yes. But as you can see, the majority of the mixed media is still on top of all of these goodness, on top of all of the elements that Carrie had in her sketch. Um, and then, of course, right smack dab in the middle of it-ish, kind of slightly over to the right, um, will be my other photo. So again, I still have all of that beautiful mixed media um, and it's going to just look amazing behind all of the embellishments that I'm going to add around my, uh, well, what's considered a focal photo. Um, but I know that I talked about this on Friday about how we had those masks that were made for children and my kids aren't really, you know, childish anymore. Well, they're childish, very childish. Um, <laughs> that keeps us young, right? Um, but they're, they're kind of in that adulthood, like, like, in that stage of their melons aren't ch children-ish melons. And so um, we got them all these, these snorkeling goggles. And my son, uh, this is my middle son, and my husband's trying to stretch the goggles out as far as they can go because he has what we used to call a bobblehead. I mean, he has always had this ginormous head. Um, and I, he's finally grown into it, which is amazing. <laughs> because now he's a handsome little boy. Uh, well, he's a handsome young man, um, but we've always kind of, kind of, we don't really tease our children to the point where it gives them a complexion or anything like that. Um, but, uh, you know, when his head doesn't fit in certain things, um, that's when, it, you know, the fun kind of comes out. And of course, there's always a stopping point because of, you know, like I said, um, we don't want to hurt anybody's feelings or anything like that. So uh, it's all it's all good and fun, um, but we know our stopping points, right? Uh, so anyways, this was um, a really good story because the kids finally, um, especially that uh, that bottom right photo, my kids are finally putting their heads under the water. Now, my oldest son, He's always been a water baby. He, like I said, he grew up in a hot tub, um, on a boat, all that stuff. So he's always been a water baby. He's never been afraid of the water. Whereas the three youngest, um, each in their own turn had an incident with the ocean and it scared their dad so much that he kind of shied away, uh, from, you know, letting them get to too much into the water, but they want to be water babies. They love the water just as much as Gabriel does, um, but um, they never learned how to swim. They never learned, you know, you know, anything past the wall and being in the water, right? But this is the year, which is 2021, 
where, uh, you know, we got them the goggles and all of a sudden they were fearless. It was just like, okay, now that that's protected, look at what I can do. And they just got so adventurous in this, in this pool that it was awesome. And then, um, a couple, uh, well, ne the next year we actually went to go visit, uh, Nana and Papa and we, um, uh, we boogie boarded out in the ocean and it was so fun um, you know, to see the kids enjoy that section of the ocean, enjoy all of that. It's just, it's just fascinating um, to finally have that experience with them, you know, that took us years to build up, but it's, it was awesome, you guys, so awesome. So <laughs> anywho, I really wanted to document it, uh, but especially, you know, the trying to get those goggles to fit on the kids' heads. Um, my youngest son and my oldest son, they just didn't care if it was squishy or, <laughs> or anything. Like I said, there's going to be a, a layout coming up here really, really soon um, where you do see how squished um, one of their faces really is. But um, for now, it's just the, you know, look at how bold we can be now that, you know, some parts of us are protected. It was almost like you, you gave them a bulletproof jacket and they you know, they marched into war type of deal. It, it's just so cool, you guys. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it, um, but it is super, super cool, um, you know, to, to see this and how, uh, how adventurous they really got and all it took was some goggles. Really, why didn't we think about this years, you know, years ago? Uh, but it's okay. It works. So what I'm doing is uh, I rolled the dice. I know I, I'm not talking anything about what my hands are actually doing, but I rolled the dice um, had to go into my color bin, had to uh, pull out some scraps. Um, you know, I didn't have to. It, it was something that was allowing me to help me use my scraps or use my stuff, right? Because that's the name of the game. Um, Janet and I just really wanted to, um, you know, dig into our stash and actually use the products that we have because it seems like we use very little of it and not a lot gets on the page. And so I have been trying my hardest to use a lot of elements, but don't make it look like I just jam packed my page or yeah, my, my layout with a bunch of stuff. Right. Um, but I do feel like I got a, a good dent on my tray gone. Um, and then of course, after the video, I do separate all of the stuff on my tray. Um, because it was, it was too much, you know, the shells mixed with the animals mixed with, uh, you know, like, um, what should be in the background type of stuff, you know, um, frames and, and, uh, netting and things like that. So I do definitely, and flowers, why, why do they put flowers in, in water layouts? It, is that a thing? Did I miss something? Um, but anywho, uh, I do end up mixing all of you, not mixing them. I do end up separating them, putting them in their own little baggies and then putting them in, um, with my, my categories, uh, with my category, my water category. Uh, but yes, I definitely did, um, do all of that stuff, but the name of the game was to use the stuff and I've been using the dice to help me use the stuff. But, uh, also too, um, uh, the last thing that I wanted to do on this layout was to add some bubbles and in the Asuka cut aparts, which is mostly where all of these elements came from, um, they had just random bubbles. And so I took all of them. That way I didn't have to keep track of any of them um, and went ahead and slapped them on this layout to call it a good deal um, because I also have these clear little crystals that look like bubbles as well. And so it was fun using something different on this layout and then I'll be able to uh, use you know, my other crystals later, later for more water layouts. All right, you guys, that is my layout for today. I also wanted to do a brief touching of um, our new class that Janet and I are doing in September. It's just a month away. Um, I just wanted to share that with you guys because it is a mixed media class, but it's, you know, from ground zero up to, you know, um, you know, DEFCON 4 type of deal stuff. Um, and it's super simple. We created six exclusive sketches that are meant um, for mixed media. So don't forget about that. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that is the new class that we have going on. And like I said, I did a super simple mixed media layout right here. And you would have never even known that uh, it's just paper, right? I, I didn't do anything. I just picked out a beautiful piece of paper that already did the the work for me. And now I have this gorgeous mixed media layout. 
uh, for myself. Anyways, um, <laughs> Carrie, thank you so much for your uh, awesome sketch. I, I really did enjoy it. Uh, don't forget to check out the two links down below for Christy's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches. One is the Facebook group and one is the playlist for everyone playing along. Also, don't forget to check out Janet Fritz, who is Galaxy Girl Creations here on YouTube to go see how she is using her stuff for the last day of the month. I think I'm going to actually carry this over into August, seeing how August is 31 days of cut files. And, um, you know, I already have a cut file, but now I'll need to dig into the stash to see what I've got going on over there. So anywho, I can't wait to see what I do. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I will check y'all later. Bye. <music>